In this lesson, we're gonna talk about how to write a ratio. So the first thing you need to understand is that a ratio is a comparison of two numbers. So I'm literally taking two numbers and I'm gonna compare them. I can compare numbers in three different ways, okay? My first way is I can say, and my numbers that I chose to compare are four and five. So I can say four, two, five, and I can use the word two. The word two is the way that I can compare ratios. The next one, I read the same way where it says four colon five, but I read this colon as four, two, five. So you can have four colon five. That also represents the ratio four to five. The last one that I can do is four to five. I say this the same way, four to five, but I write it as a fraction. This is probably the most common way that we write ratios. They look like a fraction, but it really is a ratio. Um, but know that you can see ratios with the word two or with the colon and it means the same thing. Now something to note is that the ratio four to five is different than the ratio five to four. So it does matter what number you write first. That is important. Okay, so let's talk about ratios a little bit more before we do an example. So we have two types of ratios. We have what's called a part to part ratio and a part to whole ratio. And I like to abbreviate it. Um, I like to write it P to P or P to W for part to part and for part to whole. So when you have a ratio, you can, uh, the part to part means um, that you're comparing parts of numbers or, um, and then the whole means the whole kind of group. So let me explain the easiest way to do that is by giving you an example. Okay, so it says a class has 14 boys and 18 girls and I want you to write a ratio of boys to girls. So that means, I like to set this up, I like to write it as boys to girls. So I want you to think of what is the number that represents boys? If you said 14, you are right, 14 boys. What's the number that represents the number of girls in this class? If you were thinking 18, you are correct. So my ratio of boys to girls is 14 boys to 18 girls. Um, the other thing that you have to remember about ratios is that you always, because they're written like a fraction, you wanna write them in what we call simplest terms or simplest form. So you want to take this fraction and reduce it. So you have to ask yourself, is there a number that goes evenly into 14 and 18? What number goes into both 14 and 18? How about two? So I'm gonna take 14 and I'm gonna divide it by two and that gives me seven. So it's seven boys. And what's 18 divided by two? Nine. So my final answer is nine boys. I'm sorry, seven boys to nine girls is my ratio of boys to girls. And I wanna know, is this a part to part ratio or a part to whole ratio? So if I look at my example, my class would represent my whole number. It's the total things of things that I'm comparing. In my class, I have boys and I have girls. So my class is made up of two parts, boys and girls, but the whole overall is the class. So because I'm comparing boys to girls, I can say this is a part to part ratio. Okay, let's look at what a part to whole ratio might look like. Write the ratio of girls to the class. So I like to set this up. I'm gonna write girls 
to class. And I like to write it using the fraction method. It's my favorite way. So if I look back at my numbers, what number represents girls? A class has 14 boys and 18 girls. If you said 18, you are right. So I'm going to write 18 girls. Okay, how do I figure out how many people are in my class? The class is my whole group, and my class is made up of boys and girls. So how am I going to figure out how many total students are in my class? I have to add them together. I have to do boys. So my class is the same thing as boys plus girls. So how much is 14 plus 18? If you said 32 in your class, then you're right. Okay, now the next thing I have to do is make sure that my ratio is in simplest form. So I have to ask myself, is there a number that goes into 18 and 32? Let's try two. So I'm gonna divide the top by two and the bottom by two. So 18 divided by two is nine. So that's, oops, not boys, sorry. Nine girls. And what is 32 divided by 2? 16. 16 for my class. Now, is there a number, did I simplify it enough? Is there a number that evenly goes into 9 and 16? Let's see, 3 goes into 9, but it doesn't go into 16. And there's no other numbers that go into 9 besides 9 and 1. So that's the simplest form. So my final answer would be 19 girls, or nine to 16, or nine girls to 16 in the class. Now, is this a part to part ratio or a part to whole ratio? It is a part to whole ratio because my class is the whole number of people that I'm looking at. I hope that helps come um, explain ratios. If you have any other questions, let me know.